boys and girls, and it's Miss Oates, and welcome back to another math review video. In this video, we're going to be talking about telling time. So by the end of this video, you're going to be able to read time from the nearest five-minute interval. You're going to be able to write to the five-minute intervals using proper notation. You're going to be able to show time on an analog clock to five-minute intervals using proper hour and hand and minute hand placements. And you're also going to be able to use a digital clock to determine if it should read AM or PM. So our focus standard for this video is 2MD.7, tell and write time from analog and digital clocks to the nearest five minutes using AM and PM. Let's go ahead and get started by talking about an analog clock. An analog clock, boys and girls, is what is found in many of our classrooms, and it is the clock that has the face on it that has all the different numbers on it. Up at the top of an analog clock, you're going to see 12, and then down at the bottom is going to be 6. On the right side, there's going to be a 3, and then on the left side, there's going to be a 9. Those are the different quarters to kind of establish where the other numbers will go. So let's start with the 1. The 1 is going to be beside the 1 and the 2, kind of towards the top part of the right side of the clock. So we're going to go all around and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. These numbers are really important on an analog clock as they represent the hour. And we have an hour hand or the short hand that goes around. This hand is pointing to what the hour is going to be. So like for example, right now on an analog clock that Ms. Oates in the class in the classroom, the hour hand is pointed more towards the four, but it's not quite at the four yet, meaning it's going to be three o'clock because we always go backwards to figure out what the hour is. We'll look at the steps of telling time in just a couple of minutes. Now, these, um, these numbers on an analog clock also represent the minutes, but to figure out how many minutes are, um, to figure out how many minutes each hour is standing for, you need to skip count by fives. And we always start at the very top or number 12. So 12 represents zero, zero minutes. That's usually the start of a new hour. The one represents the five minute mark. The two represents the 10 minute mark. The three represents the 15 minute mark. The four represents the 20 minute mark. The five represents the 25 minute mark. The six represents the 30 minute mark. The seven represents the 35 minute mark. The 8 represents the 40-minute mark. The 9 represents the 45-minute mark. The 10 represents the 50-minute mark. And the 11 represents the 55-minute mark. And finally, our hour hand, or the minute hand, excuse me, or the long hand, will go back to the 12 mark, which starts the new hour. The hour, the minute hand moves every single minute. The hour hand moves around slowly around the clock in an hour. We also call the minute hand the long hand as it is a little bit longer. Let's talk about a digital clock. A digital clock is what a lot of us see whether we're using a smartphone or smartwatch or cell phone. These are the ones that you're a little bit more familiar with, like an alarm clock of some sort. So we have the hour which comes on the left side of the colon, and then we have the minute hand which comes on the right side of the colon. So our hour is going to be 2, and our minute can be 30. If you see 2 and then 30 on a digital clock, this means the time is 2.30. And if you look back on my analog clock, again, you notice that the 2 is pointed towards, our hand's pointed towards the 2, and the minute hand is directly on the 6, which represents 30 minutes. This analog clock is showing 2.30, while our digital clock is also showing how to write 2.30 as well. Let's go ahead and give you some quick tell time-telling facts. So there are 60 seconds in one minute. So when somebody tells you that they need a minute, that means they need about 60 seconds. There are also 60 minutes in one hour. So when someone tells you that we're an hour away, that means they're about 60 minutes away. And that there are 24 hours in one day. So for example, if somebody says that I need another day to do something, that means they might need another 24 hours. Let's go ahead and talk about AM and PM. 
AM stands for morning time. So this is going to be from midnight till noon. Midnight, you're usually in bed asleep. And then you wake up maybe about 6, 7 a.m., eat breakfast, go to school, do activity time, maybe whatnot. But around lunchtime, it gets closer to noon. That is when we go to p.m., which is going to be more afternoon, late evening, and night. P.m. is from noon to midnight. So usually you eat lunch, you may have your afternoon sessions of your class, and then you might go home ride the bus home, eat dinner, spend some time with your family, play outside, watch some TV, and then finally get ready for bed. All of that stuff happens in the PM. Let's talk a little bit about what it means to tell time. How exactly do you tell time? And we usually start with the hour hand. Our hour hand is represented by our shorthand or red in this picture right here. So when you look at the small hand, it's called the hour hand. Look at the last number the hour hand pa is passed. So you always go backwards to kind of look at the hour hand to figure out what the current hour is going to be. You say the number and then you will look at the minute hand. So step two is going to be our minute hand. To find the time on the minute hand or the long hand, you're going to start at 12 and then you're going to count by fives. If it's on the 12, just say a clock. If it's on the 6, you just say 30. All right, let's go ahead and practice. So I want to know what time is being shown on the clock. Well, let's start with our hour hand or our shorthand. Our shorthand looks like it's pointed towards the 3, so I'm thinking it's going to be about 3 o'clock. All right. Now I need to go ahead and figure out how many minutes are being represented by this clock. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start at 12 and I'm gonna skip count by fives until I get to where my minute hand is landed at. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The minute hand is pointed toward the six, so that means that the time being shown right now is 3.30. All right, let's go ahead and look at what time this clock is being shown. Ooh, this one is pretty easy because the hour hand is pointed to the eight and the minute hand is pointed to the 12. So I know it's the start of a new hour. So eight o'clock is being shown or eight zero zero. Let's practice one more. I wanna know what time is being shown on this clock. All right, so looking at my hour hand, it looks like it's between the one and the two. It's pointed towards between the one and the two. So that means I need to go backwards. I need to look at the last, I need to look at the last hand, I need to look at the last number that the hour hand was pointed towards, which is the one. Now I need to go ahead and count up my minutes. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So the time that is being shown is 140. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and practice one more time. What time is being shown on this clock? Again, I'm going to start with my hour hand. My hour hand is pointed directly at the 12. So that means it's about 12 o'clock. And my minute hand is pointed to the 2. Well, I know that when I'm skip counting by 5 and I skip count by 5 two times, it's going to be 5 10. So the time that is being shown on this clock is 12 10. All right, boys and girls, I hope you learned a little bit more about telling time and how to use analog and digital clocks. And I hope you learned the difference between AM and PM. I will see you next time. Bye.